The Lavochkin LO-5 was a Soviet single-engine, single-seat fighter aircraft that emerged as a key element in the Soviet Union's air power during the later stages of World War II. Born out of necessity and the crucial demand for effective fighters to counter the invading German Luftwaffe, the LA-5 quickly became a favorite among Soviet pilots and a respected adversary among its German counterparts. The LA-5 was a development and improvement of its predecessor, the Lag-3, which, despite its strong structure and heavy armament, had been underpowered and less agile than needed. The failure of the Lag-3, designed by Vladimir Gorbunov, saw its production curtailed, with the building of the Yakovlev Yak supplanting it in Russian factories. Gorbunov, undeterred, focused independently on improving his aircraft. He replaced the Lag-3's inline engine with a more powerful, air-cooled double-row radial Shvetsov ASH-82 engine. This new engine significantly boosted the LA-5's power-to-weight ratio, leading to vastly improved speed and climbing performance. His prototype first flew in March 1942 and demonstrated surprisingly acceptable performance. Air Force test pilots considered it to be superior to the Yak-7, and intensive flight tests began in April, with orders to move to full production by July. With the radial engine and its characteristic round cowling, the LA-5 had a somewhat stubby, muscular appearance. It was a single-seat aircraft, with the pilot housed in a sliding canopy that provided a reasonable field of view. The aircraft was just over 8.6 meters long and had a wingspan of approximately 9.8 meters. In terms of performance, the LA-5 was markedly superior to its predecessor. It had a maximum speed of around 580 kilometers per hour, or about 360 miles per hour, and it could climb to a service ceiling of 10,000 meters. The aircraft was noted for its excellent maneuverability, particularly at low to medium altitudes, which were common in the Eastern Front's tactical air war. For armament, it was equipped with two 20mm SH VAK cannons, mounted in the forward fuselage and synchronized to fire through the propeller. These cannons were a reliable and potent weapon, able to take down enemy aircraft with a few well-placed shots. However, compared to some contemporary fighters, the LA-5's armament was somewhat light. Throughout its production, the LA-5 was refined into several improved variants. The most notable of these was the LA-5FN, which featured direct fuel injection for the engine, further improving its performance, particularly at high altitude. This variant also introduced an all-around vision canopy for better visibility and an improved gun sight. It was a capable and robust fighter that could hold its own against the best that the Luftwaffe had to offer. The aircraft was a match for the German Messerschmitt BF-109 and Fokker Wolf FW-190 in terms of speed and maneuverability, especially at lower altitudes where a significant portion of the Eastern Front's air combat took place. It also had a robust construction that could withstand significant battle damage and keep flying, a trait valued by its pilots. Additionally, the aircraft's air-cooled radial engine was less vulnerable to damage than the liquid-cooled engines of many contemporary fighters, a single hit could rupture a liquid-cooled engine's cooling system and lead to the engine overheating and seizing. The LA-5's radial engine didn't have this vulnerability, which contributed to its resilience in combat. The Lavochkin LA-5 was in service with the Soviet Air Forces from 1942 until the end of the war. During this time, it played a vital role in air combat over the Eastern Front, engaging in dogfights with German fighters, intercepting enemy bombers, and providing air support for Soviet ground forces. By the end of the war, more than 10,000 LA-5S of all types had been produced, underscoring its importance to the Soviet war effort. Despite its critical role during the war, the LA-5 has often been overshadowed in popular memory by the more famous Yakovlev and Mikoyan fighters. Nonetheless, for the pilots who flew it and the mechanics who maintained it, the LA-5 was a rugged, reliable and effective fighting machine that played a crucial role in defeating the Luftwaffe and achieving victory in the largest conflict in human history. The Lavochkin LA-5, born out of wartime necessity and the need for an effective fighter aircraft, proved itself as a capable machine in the hands of skilled Soviet pilots. It was a testament to the rapid advancements in aircraft technology, brought on by the pressures of war, representing a leap forward in terms of power and performance compared to its predecessors. It served as a workhorse of the Soviet Air Force, holding its own against formidable adversaries and contributing significantly to the outcome of World War II.